Well, as most parents will tell you, connecting with your child becomes a little more difficult as they enter their teenage years, but it doesn't have to be the case. Joining us to talk about boosting that connection is Dr. Elizabeth Henry. Dr. Liz, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me again, Cindy. Now, this is a topic that you tackle in your book, which I love the name, You Are Not a Bad Parent. You have so much great <laughs> advice in your book. Um, and, and one of the things is, like, how do you boost that connection? Well, the number one thing parents can do, the number one thing is to listen. Mm. And that is important and key to boosting that connection. And you have three different uh, strategies to do that a yes. little better, right? Yes. The, the first strategy is to embrace the silence. Uh -huh. And often we try to avoid uh, silence by filling it with chatter and, and background noise. But really being with your team can be powerful if you are together and, and just embrace that silence. And often it can create a space for conversation to arise. And and then your team may share something that it took them a long time to to talk about, like something that happened in school or, or some trouble they're having. And then the second strategy is to listen for the gold. Mm. And what I mean by that is to listen with interest, as if your teenager is saying something brand new. And um, really find value in what they're saying and try to understand. And that can often bring you closer together. And the last one, but not least, the third strategy is to interview your teen. Hmm. Now, as our teens get older, Older, as our kids get older, uh, they have their own opinions and they develop their own ideas. And instead of uh, thinking that you know what they're going to say and you know their likes and their dislikes, ask them. So conduct a mini interview and ask them questions and have them ask you questions back. And those questions could be like, what do you like about your life and mm -hmm. uh, what don't you like and what do I do that annoys you and you'll get uh -huh. a long list yes, about yes. that and what do I do that that you like and you'll be interested about the answers that you get and you'll be surprised and you'll get some valuable information that boosts your connection that is so true because I remember asking my daughter what's the thing you would change about me if you could and she said I wish you knew what it was like to be a kid mm. and that really said a lot because so you know we're the parent right, we know right. everything right so to put your you know your place in in their in their shoes now how do you teach your child to be a better listener ah well that that could be a whole nother <laughs> that could be a whole another segment. And um, the, the best way is to model how, how you want them to listen. Mm. And um, it's important to um, talk you know, in brief sentences to mm -hmm. them and, and don't lecture. Right. And, and so they will develop a way of hearing you in, in a different light. And uh, so that's, uh, that's very important. That's all great advice, especially the silence part. I think it's so hard for any of us to let those spaces breathe. So, <laughs> Dr. Liz, thank you so much. Well, thank you for having me. And we'll be right back.